撞咗你嚟。What's the rumpus? Heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Uh, depends. <laughs> What's it worth to you? Twenty bucks. How about forty? All right, spill. The FBI is in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the Black Cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so. He's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Always a pleasure, Tommy. Welcome to a WLH Sports Report. There's a sense of anticipation as we await the start of the... Everything okay? Tom? Nah. Nah, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. Let on that Councilor Gilates brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No, no, he didn't. Tom, what's going on?
Looks like the place. Take me to those account books, Frank. There'll be some kind of meat happening. Shit. They've taken you to the airport, Frank. Christ, they're flying him out of state or something. Fuck, this ain't good.
Marty's people. The FBI? The guy just flashed a badge at me and forced me out. going on? They're with the FBI. It's some sort of handover. Someone's being flown out. Oh, they're handing him over to who? Those men with the plane look like gangsters. Look where How long did they die? I'm due to fly. As soon as they fly their prisoner out, I guess. Some kind of gangster. Why the hell isn't he being flown out by the feds? Eyes on him! Tom. Frank, the Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over, yet? I'm not so stupid, Don. They're safe. Morello was waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of him. 
Tell them to get on a plane. Go on, March. Alice, get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, March. For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. You been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. God damn you, Frank. Good afternoon, sir. Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. Beautiful day, huh? Uh-huh. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came, and to provide access. Please, follow me. Got the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. You're making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio and I just came by to pay respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. 
He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. It's a hell of a thing. Look at these houses. Big yards, white picket fences. It's the American dream, eh, Tommy? I suppose. Not for you? No, sir. I don't like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more criminals out here than in the rest of the city combined. Are that why we're in the neighborhood? In a way. Merle's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. The city councilor? The same. Morell let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is, he's striking gold with a few witnesses. You have names? Yeah. But Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. Well, where's he holding? A safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. That him, boss? Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, grazie. Don Salieri. Good to see you. You know the job. Don't let me down. Si. Who capisce you? Tommy, if you bump into Watkins, don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. You got it, boss. Buona fortuna, regards. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Piacere di di conoscerti. Meraviglioso. <laughs> Per favore. Parli almeno un po' di italiano? Il capo ti ha detto il piano? Uh, I don't speak Italian. Eccellente. Ah, fantastico. Uh, no plan? Yeah, the boss told me. Ah, uh, please. Uh, uh, understand. Entriamo dal labirinto senza farci sentire né vedere. La cassaforte è dietro un dipinto al primo piano. Dammi un po' di tempo e lascia fare tutto a me. Quella cassaforte avrà sicuramente un allarme. Uh, yeah. This is gonna be a long night for the both of us. Ah, Cristo Santo. Ok, my turn. Do what I do. Do not get caught. Sì. You gotta keep safe. Safe? Sì. Uh, it's um, uh, my job. Apro cassaforte. Open safe. Christ. Okay. Radio. Let's listen to the radio. Eccellente. Hell of a view up here. A volte questo paese è stupendo. Eh? 
Ecco. Entriamo da lì. Wall. Labirinto. What? Vedrai. Oh, amazed. Sì, un labirinto. Stay here while I take out the guards. A quanto pare in America hanno il labirinto. I could have a night off. There's something. <laughs> I think that's all of them. Salvatore! Where are you? We're clear. Tommy! I hear! Where the hell did he go? Sono qui, Tommy! <sighs> Guy's a pain in the ass. Forza! Vieni con me! Sei un tipo tosto, eh? What? C'è un'entrata. Open. Kick. Kind of like picker, are you? Look for a dipinto. A what? Ma, um, da Vinci, uh, Caravaggio. Uh, hai capito? Painting? You're saying it's behind the painting. Si, si. Okay, I understand. Non quello. Guess we got another room to check. here.
delightful. <gasps> what the hell are you doing here? <coughs> Burglars! <coughs> oh, help! <Hey>. We need... <coughs> <coughs> There's one. Guess we got another room to check. What you can do. Shit. Be quick, Salvatore. Pacenza, pacenza. Salvatore, stay back! I'll deal with him. Get your first time. Forza! Andiamo, ce n'è! Presto! Per semina gli sfiri! I know! Whatever you're saying, I know! Police? Salvatore, where do I take you now? Home. Yeah, where home? Uh, six uh, and uh, Maple. Okay, let's go. Porca puttana! Salvatore, devo dirti una cosa. Al nostro prossimo lavoro penso io alla casa forte. Porca puttana! 
Tommy, devo dirti una cosa. Al nostro prossimo lavoro penso io alla casa forte. Hai capito? Ci ho quasi rimesso la pelle in quella villa. Ed è tutta colpa tua. E impara almeno un po' di italiano per rispetto della nostra patria. Ah, è come parlare al mio cane, lo so. Ma Cristo, dovevo dirlo. Non farò mai più. Mai più. Ok, ok. Uh. Cristo Santissimo! Ok. Good night. Night. Of the good stuff, boss. I know. Some of those bottles I've had for 10 years. But we gotta make payroll. Get it out of here. Convert them. Load it up. Good to see you, boys. Boss, any word on a job I pulled with Salvatore? You did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. We bought some time. At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah. And you're gonna love it. We make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? A couple of weeks ago, I'm relaxing in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. They got a bar and everything. <laughs> Anyways, one of the Johns is south. And he's crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his goofy accent. He's going on and on about how he just landed this huge payday. But the goons he's working for are already twisting his arm. And he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his tab? Hell no. But I walked him out of the place, took him to the diner around the corner to sober up. We get to talking. Turns out his name is Gates. He's this hick up from Kentucky. Moonshiner? Uh-uh-uh. Better. His pop's got a couple of real distilleries, and I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts. Morello. And you think he wants to burn bridges? Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. He's bringing up another shipment tonight, but he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we gotta do is make it look like a proper heist. I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy. He's got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. Not like we got a lot of options here. Mm. We'll be cutting up the last beam pretty soon, boss. What do you think, Tom? We need to replace the Canadian. If Polly says this Gates can do that, I'm in. Where's the meat? The big parking garage downtown. Okay, do it. But you better not be playing grab bass this time. You take Carlo and little Bill with you. Sure thing, boss. Once you have the truck, drive it back here. We won't let you down, boss. Don't make me regret giving you some time out there in the streets with the guys, Carlo. You don't have to worry about me. I know I don't. Tommy does that for me. I'll keep your driver safe, boss. Sam and little Bill said to meet him downtown. Hey, Carlo, looking kind of like you shake yourself. Ah, get bent. Big moment, huh? Finally running with the pack. Listen, I spend more time with Adon than all of you's put together. Sure, sure. Sat out on the road, wait till he's finished with his broad. <laughs> If you don't want me to come, I won't. It's fine. Boss doesn't have to know. Nah, you're coming. The boss said you're coming. Just, you had a face like you're being taken for an errand. I don't want Gates thinking we're frails. Why is Gates sell on Morello anyways? First time Gates pulled in with his trucks, Morello decided to change up the terms. The big guy himself popped him in the nose as part of their renegotiation. His nose is gonna get more in a pop if Morello hears we're involved. That's why we're pretending to stick him up. Then he'll go back to his pop and tell a sob story about being robbed at gunpoint. 
He'll convince his old man that Morello can't protect the merchandise. He'll need to find a new buyer out here, and he's heard of a stand-up guy named Salieri. This plan is some bullshit, Tom. Polly told it to me yesterday, and somehow it's gotten worse. Hey, when you get a lead for the boss, and you don't just drive him places, then, then you get to pick holes. Till then, shut your damn mouth. Ah, uh, whatever helps you sleep. When Morello tracks you down, don't come crying to me. You serious? You actually serious? Fellas, knock it off. Christ. Watch out! I do a lot of deals here. Parking attendant don't ask for much dough. Always closes up shop till I'm done. Okay, we're good. Gates is waiting up on the top floor. Place seems clear so far. Only people with cars are people with jobs. Nine to five, place is deserted. Well, we got jobs and we're here. That kind of a job, sure. Anything else we need to know about Gates, Bart? Only that he's got a bust-up nose and crates full of the good stuff. Our kind of guy. Our kind of guy. Park up over there. Polly! Good to see you, pal. Yeah, you too, Gates. Well, I hope you all have good taste in whiskey. I ain't really the expert here. Tommy! Oh, yeah. It's fine. Your first payment. If the Don's impressed, he'll finance more runs. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna be rich, boys. Well, we are always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. Sure thing. Now we just gotta conclude this transaction. <laughs> Damn it, Paulie! Uh, no, no! It's okay. Oh, what? I told you, we gotta make it look like a proper robbery. Damn, things gonna be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, don't worry, pal. With all the dough you're raking in, you're gonna be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> Watch out! took a bullet. This ain't as bad as it looks. Now take the booze and get. My guys will come for me. No, go, go, go. So long as you guys clear them out up ahead, I'll be safe here with the little guy. Carlo, in the cab with me. You know you stead. Tommy, check for more of them. This thing ain't over. Come on, I'll back you up. More of them! More of these guys! They got him out of the back, Tommy! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Son of a bitch, he shot me!
Look for extinguishers or something. I see fire sprinklers up on the ceiling. We need to turn them on. There's gotta be a valve to turn someplace. Is there a way through this fence? Gotcha now! Grab a set of wheels and watch my back. Sure, Sam. How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beavers in this city. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. <laughs> Okay, let's slow them down some. Hit them where it hurts! Them all. Thank Christ for that. Let's head home. See what we got. We got the booze. I mean, I know it didn't go to plan, but we got the booze. Yeah. So tonight, me and you are gonna drink a bunch of it. I guess we aren't that much.
It's like a 38. Morello's boys caught up with you? Yeah, boss. We took care of it. What about the kid from Kentucky? Uh, he took a slug to the shoulder, but uh, he's a tough blocker. He and his crew dusted out as soon as we bumped off Morello's hatchet men. Getting shot will give Gates and his pop another reason to ice Morello out of the whiskey business. Well, let's see if this hooch was worth all the trouble. Excellent. I'll work out the details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. Saludo! Saludo! Sounds like Salieri was getting ready to make his move. Working up to it, maybe. But then, prohibition ended. And a bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. All that fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. It took us a few years to recover. But when we did bounce back, boy, it was something. We took what dough we had from the moonshine and Canadian whiskey and invested it into new records. Some of them even legal. Construction, restaurants, trucking, gambling. We branched out into everything, except peddling dope. And by 35, things were looking up. We had good money rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was running a club for the Don. Even Polly had a few records of his own. Wasn't exactly happy, but what do you call it then? Content. Yeah, that was it. And Celieri, he finally starts talking about getting out of Morello's shadow. Maybe buying our own cops, our own politicians. Hmm. That's interesting. You think Celieri was sourcing high binders in 34? Maybe. Wait. Well, a few years back, the voice squad got a judge on solicitation of a minor. Once in the box, he started confessing all sorts of misbehaving, trying to get a deal. But he copped to taking kickbacks from Rollo and your man Salieri. Playing him off one another, trying to goose the take. But once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids on the beach, still breathing, of course. Christ. It was a missing piece. How's that? Morello was always winding us up. But he never did anything that might start an all-out war. Learning Celieri was building his own bench must have finally tipped his scales. Because in 35, he hit us with both barrels. ...of his face and pasted it on his face. Oh, hey, boss, what's going on? I'm glad you're here. There you go, boss. I'm going to Pepe's for lunch, but Carlo called in sick. You up for a drive? Sure, boss. Bravo. I'm already starving. You got a piece on you? Yeah. You think I'll need it? Eh, you know how it is. Things with Morello have been a little quiet lately. Maybe it's just got me jumpy, is all. So how's business, Tom? Let's get there without broken necks, Tom. Ah, sorry. So how's business, Tom? Hey, you know how it is. It's good. Sure, I know the business. I see the books every day. But since what happened happened, I know that a capo needs to talk to his soldiers without some other guy getting in the way. I guess we're mixing with a better sort of person, though. And I like dealing with all these big shots we got on the pack. Anything's better than those grifters trying to shift their hooch before the 21st went through. Ah, this is only the start of it, Tom. I got plans. Plenty of good people lining up for a slice. Glad to hear it.
Must be nice for you. Some time away from Polly and his cockamamie schemes. That's a better conversation, boss. I'll give you that. <laughs> sure I am. Me, Sam, and Polly, though. We're still real tight. We've been through some times together. Yeah, don't I know it. Wine here, please, quickly. <laughs> You're going to love this wine. It's a don't forget it. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> Good to see you, Pepe. Yes. Hey, come. Our guest has arrived, eh? What's on the menu today? My mother, she would be so honored if you tried her caponada. Excellent. Bravo, bravo. Oh, Benny, oh, uh, let me get you a chair for you, huh? <laughs> See, please. And to drink a Chianti. I've been saving this just for you. Yeah, bene, bene, bene. Enjoy, huh? I'm glad you're off the rough, Tom. Uh, Sarah threatened to leave me if I didn't dry out. I know. She told you? No. I put her up to it. Drunkards get sloppy, Tom. I didn't want you to make a mistake we couldn't live with. <laughs> ah, for you? And for you. Ah, <laughs> Peppy, the meal is a masterpiece as always. <laughs> Molto grazie, Don Salieri. Praise from such a gourmet as you, it filled me with a joy. Uh, you wouldn't call me a gourmet if you knew what I had for supper. <laughs> What the hell? Morello! Bastard could have at least let me finish my wine. Hey, Salieri! Come out of there and we'll make this quick. Smoke them out, Joe. Shit, watch out! Fast enough. We're gonna ambush these boys. I'll keep them entertained while you slip out the back and circle around. You sure, boss? Blow them all down, Tommy. Not one of them goes home tonight. Okay, boss. Be careful. Tom, just be quick about it.
Balls on this kid. You really saved my ass, Tom. We gotta go, boss. The cops will be here soon. I need a minute to catch my breath. Well, let me get you back to the bar. No, not the bar. We're going to see Carlo. That son of a bitch knew where I was going today, and he calls in sick. He set you up. <sighs> to us, Tom, you could have ended up just as dead. Yeah, I know, boss. Carlo's shacked up with some Damon Holbrook. Let's go see what he has to say about all this. Step on it, Tom. Every minute Carlo's still breathing is a minute that's got me pissed. Sure, boss. Can't believe these bastards had the brass balls to wreck my car. Had to be Carlo, didn't it? His pop was tight with both. Come on, Tom. We don't have time for this. didn't it? His pop was tight with Morello right when we started out. Apple don't fall far from the tree, huh? I wept at his funeral. At his sons, I'll be laughing loud. His mom's already a widow, Tom, and now he's gonna make her lonely till the day she dies. For what? Some dough to buy his dope? And my foot through his face. You know what? I'm glad. I'm glad this happened. I get to plug another rat, and we finally go to the mattresses with Morello. Today's the day that damn breaks. Sure feels like it. Boss, why don't you let me go first, huh? Carlo might be waiting for us. No, Tom, my face is going to be the first and last thing this bastard sees. <laughs> You goddamn dirty grifter! You better dangle, sweetheart. It's gonna be a closed casket, Carlo. You okay, Buzz? Yeah, just a little one. Let me catch my breath. Jesus, he's fast for a big guy. Don't let him get away! Is he still alive? I'm not sure. Sergio, how are you? Keeping out of trouble? Sure. Who's this? Wait a minute. Is that Gordy? It is. Hey, Gordy, how you doing, buddy? Hotly recognized you. What'd he do? You said you were having some trouble down at the docks, right? Yeah. That's nothing I can't handle. Yeah, well, they did some asking around. This asshole was planning a strike. Strikes are no good for business. 
Unless you don't want to call him for it, right? <laughs> right. So I decided the union needed a change in leadership. Is that all right with you? Of course. Yeah. Now, what about that uh, other thing? That's why I'm here. Salieri's still alive. God damn it! What happened? I don't know yet. Crew we sent is dead. Restaurants all shot to hell. Stop your crying. Can't have a conversation here. What about uh, the cockroach Carlo? Found him with his head smashed in like a fucking watermelon. Never seen anything like it. So the army must have figured Carlo was the right. God damn it. Even hear myself think. It's gonna be a war. I told you to shut the fuck up! We've been at war since we killed Papone. It's just out in the open now. What do you want me to do? Make your rounds. Tell little boys to keep their eyes peeled and their powder dry. Okay. Put the word out. Hey. Just uh, keep your head down, little brother. You too, Don Morello. They started something. Something big. You think? Morello tried to... Hey, you need it up the stairs. I'll go straight up. It's war, Thumb. From today, we are at war. Haven't seen any trouble just yet. True, the Don slipped Carl the bump, not you? Yeah. It wasn't pretty. Still blood in his veins, huh? Less than Carlos. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. I want guards and lookouts round the clock. Here, the warehouse, and all our businesses. How about people under our protection? Forget about them. Hard guys in place. Good. We're finally going after him. Soon. But first, we have to soften them up. Morel's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to bite them all off, so we need to scare them into abandoning Morello's sinking ship. We bump off the right idiot, the rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health. First in line for the pine box is this asshole, Galati. The counselor's still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ, that guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. The counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. He's pulling out all the stops, booths, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just did normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellows are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay. I'll talk my way to the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore? Sam and Paul are down the docks working on that. You meet up with him there, 
and I'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. The lot is done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Buona fortuna, Tom. Attention, folks, attention. We'll get you all aboard, but we will need to see tickets. The finest the family search. in the city. No doubt in my mind. Who's done the more? Just paid. You got an invite, too? You don't look like a guy with an invite. I got friends. Just not these kind of friends. Well, I'll tell you what I got. A sailor back there who works on the steamer. His head gets something heavy. But his dandy white suit's fine. Thanks. I'll go find him. Know you'd get a real job someday. So remember, play it cool. When you've gone some ways over the water, find the gun. The janitor stashed it in the bathroom. Sure. Then get up on the roof. Wait for Galati's speech and pop him when he's done. And how do I get away? Polly's borrowed a speedboat. After the speech, there's fireworks. Sure, we'll come soon as we've seen it. You better beat it. Be there on time. Don't worry. It'll go smooth like eggs and coffee. It's good, Tom. The outfit don't get messed up. Keep it. You the new guy? Christ, you took your time. You think he's gonna pull this off? You sure as shit gonna kill Galati. Getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. He don't need no fucking angel. He's got us looking out for him.
Seen the janitor any place? Nah, but uh, if I had to put money on it, drunk in the engine room. Say my name again, and you'll be found floating outside. Get that? Uh, yeah, I, I get that. gonna do about it well I'm gonna give you a beat for starters put you down Hey, John. Hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have a note for me. Huh? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Hey, thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Hey, welcome to my little party, right? <laughs> so, as you all know, it has been a tough time. Three years ago, my dear son, Billy, left us. An innocent pawn in a deadly gang war. A victim of the deceased, that is, organized crime. Since that day, I have lived only to eradicate this disease. Today is a day for celebration for my 50th birthday. And for a brighter future for lost heaven. The criminals will be driven out of town. They'll drown like rats in the water. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And now for the fireworks, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 